let's make the Roll Royce of all chips. Welcome back everyone. Today, yes, we are tackling the king of all chips, a dish that is as old as the 1800, precisely 1830s under the reign of King Louis Philippe the first in France, obviously. So <laughs> I know I've been going back in history lately, but this dish is still relevant. It's called pomme souffle, puffed potato, two thin layer of potato stacked together and deep fried to create one of the best canapé amuse bouche you could ever do. And today we're going to stuff them, fill them with a delicious lemon cream and topped up with a bit of caviar. Royalty, am I right? Two things were meant to be done for us to get cooking and for you as always to smash the subscribe button. Let's go. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the chive cream. So I'm gonna take a shallot, which I cut in half, peel the layers off, we're gonna do a nice julienne and cut some beautiful little dice. Very important so they can go through the tip later, you'll see. Then the chives. It's very important that you always cut the chives from the top and not from the bottom, because the top is actually finer and the bottom can be a little harder and then more oniony. We're gonna do a nice dice, we're gonna put that aside with the shallots. I'll then add some lemon zest and some lemon juice. We're gonna season with a bit of salt and pepper as well as adding the cream. I will then give that a nice whisk until it forms some nice weepy creamy. You see, until it holds, make sure we taste it. And yes, it's delicious. So it's time to put it into the piping bag with a tip as I mentioned, so we can actually pierce the pomme souffle. So we'll place it inside the bag and we're gonna reserve it in the fridge. In the meantime, we are going to heat up the oil and it's time to start slicing our potatoes. I'm using a rosette. Make sure you have a mandolin because you need to slice it as thin as possible. Literally, you need to see the light through it. Next, we are going to add some cornstarch or rice flour. You want to use something very light. We'll put it over the first layer and we're going to make sure we remove the excess flour. Then we are going to take some egg white and do the same thing, brushy brushy, on the other side. We'll then put them together so the egg white will touch the flour and we're going to make sure they're nice and stacked. Next, using a ring cutter, I'm gonna cut some beautiful rounds. You also wanna make sure you work fast because obviously the potato might start browning. We'll then remove the excess potato and we'll place a potato ring into our tray and we're gonna move on to the oil. The oil is about 325 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna do three or four at a time and you wanna make sure you baste them, okay? You really wanna make sure that oil touches the top. It's gonna to help the souffle processing. We'll then flip them over, make sure they are cooked on both sides. We'll then move them onto our tray with a bit of absorbing pepper and we season them right away. Now we are going to stuff them. And I'm also gonna top it with some Ossietra caviar from Caviary Paris. Delicious stuff. Make sure we're using a gold spoon, very important for caviar, you don't wanna oxidize it. Using the tip of my knife, I'm going to create a hole and I will then fill up the pomme souffle with some of the delicious lemon and chef cream. We'll then place them into a plate but I also wanted to show you what the inside looks like. So I cut one open that was empty and one that is full, right? So you can see the difference. We'll then top them up with some delicious caviar, a little bit of chives, a bit of color, and we are ready to enjoy. So you know what? Bon appétit. And here we have it, a delicious potato chips. Well, a delicate version of it. Start with a delicious lemon and chive cream and topped up with some Ossietra caviar and a bit of chives. If you want to impress your guests, this is probably one of the best amuse bouche you could do. And if you enjoyed this recipe, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, the recipe will be in the description below, even though this one is super easy. Once again, thank you for tuning in and being present on the channel and smashing that subscribe button. And I'm about to try this, so you know what's next. I will see you on the next episode.